Hollywood history is littered with young stars who've gone off the deep end. Almost every year, it seems, you hear about another star who got into trouble either with the police, with drugs, with alcohol, with their career, with their parents, and it goes on and on. Well, the latest case, who seems to be all over the tabloids, the regular news, the internet, blogs, is Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes, if you didn't know, she had her own show on Nickelodeon, a very popular show, sort of an SNL for the tween generation called The Amanda Show. Then she did a nice segue into feature films, Big Fat Liar, What a Girl Wants, and she was doing pretty well. She had her audience, she did well on DVD and, and on cable TV. She had a career going strong, and then she kind of went underground. Don't know what happened to her, but she has reemerged. She seems to be all over the place. You can't put on the TV or put on your computer without seeing her image doing something incredibly stupid, yet incredibly sad at the same time. Rather than going upward on the star ladder, Amanda Bynes suddenly froze and went down, strikingly down on the ladder. Well, okay, she takes her dog shopping, that's what we heard recently, but think of the other things that she did. She announces her retirement, and then she says, well, if they're not lasting too long, I'm gonna get into being a fashion designer and a rap artist and the retirement didn't last long, but really, what has she done? Well, let's see. She's been involved in a DUI situation. She had two hit and run situations. Uh, she, just this year, she was arrested for throwing a bong out of a window. She was evicted from her house. She's been involved in Twitter feeds with the likes of Drake, who she thinks is ugly, and Miley Cyrus, that's Hannah Montana. Uh, who she thinks is ugly, and also an actress, Sarah Hyland, from Modern Family. It just goes on and on and on. She punched a fan. What is going on? What is our diagnosis, Amanda? Well, obviously, these are sad calls for attention. You're certainly getting it because we can't get enough of it. You're all over the place. But how do you straighten yourself out? You still want a career? First of all, I want you to straighten out. If you have to go to a facility, go, go get psychological counseling, but stay away from Dr. Drew, okay? Celebrity rehab is not the way to go. Lie low, throw out your phone, stop the tweeting. We don't need it, it's just making things worse. And then get the word out that you wanna get back to work, real work. Now, often in the past, John Waters was a good guy to do this with. I mean, after all, it put Patty Hearst in one of his movies. But you already go on that route. Don't forget, Amanda, you were in Hairspray, the one with John Travolta. So, how about Robert Rodriguez? He doesn't seem to have a problem trying to resurrect careers. Mel Gibson's in his new movie, come on. Or even Quentin Tarantino. Look what he did for John Travolta and a host of other actors in his film. You have all the publicity you want. Yes, yeah, negative. Turn it around, Amanda. We're pulling for you. You can do it. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda.